Hello and thanks for watching Local Edition, I'm Eric Quotilla. Laptops and internet access. They're items most people use every day, but for those spending time in the hospital, these common items have often been hard to come by. A local hospital is working to change that though. Benjamin Ari has the story. Eric, Mercy Hospital in Cadillac is trying to make the healthcare experience more positive for everyone. A new program there is putting laptops in the hands of patients, helping them stay connected and stay in contact. Our patients come and many of them are used to being able to keep tabs with their families uh, day to day through the internet. And I think it's a, a service that we can um, support our patients in being able to use emails um, to connect with their families when they're in the hospital or family members of a loved one. Staying connected to family is only one part of the program. They have the capability to do DVDs and things like that for pediatric patients or other patients that would be interested. Staying in the hospital isn't a load of fun, um, but we're hopeful that this will make it a little bit more pleasant um, you know, so people could surf the internet and pass the time a little bit better. Our IS department um, brought it to nursing. Um, we'd actually talked about buying just DVD players um, for patients, uh, but they had laptops that were no longer really being able to be used for nursing, but that we could um, shift them and use them for patients, which I think has been nice. It's a financially responsible way to handle our laptops that can't be used for patient um, care, but can be used for patients to, as a service to them and patients have embraced the program. Well, to tell you, when we did this interview, I had to go and get them because they were all in use, and that's nice um, that patients are requesting them and uh, nurses are giving them to patients to help pass the time. And uh, the comment I said is, got from them was, make sure you bring that back, I really like it. <laughs> now, more information on the program is available from the hospital's Community Relations Department, 876-7326. I'm Benjamin Ari. Now back to you, Eric. Thanks, Benjamin. Coming up next on Local Edition, a community service event was recently held at the Kettenin Center in Tustin. We'll explain what volunteers were doing at the center next, so stay with us. <laughs>